Okay, hi everyone, here is another photo critique um, and we're going to have to figure out who I'm going to critique in this one. Let's see. Okay, and here we're going for possibly the youngest one uh, person that we've had sending their images. It says, Hi, Don Bauer. I've been watching your videos um, and I'm 15 year old high, high school student. Uh, oh no, he hasn't given me... Uh, oh no, he has given me the, the um, okay to go for it. Okay, I'll just go straight into it. Uh, first shot, let's see if we can get this a little bit closer. Uh, nice close-up uh, picture, hints of spring. He's given it a nice little name there, that's nice. Uh, lovely colours there with the blue, the pinks, the greens. Uh, yeah, it is lovely colours, vibrance, yeah, looks good. Um, it's a little bit cluttered, that's all I'd say. The, the flower that you've got there, there's lots of flowers very much like it behind. Um, and then it's a bit kind of dark over there, so just... Uh, yeah, it's fine, but try and kind of unclutter some of the background. Uh, I'm not saying rip off branches, um, but just work on your position sometimes and you can get better, kind of less distracting background. Uh, next one, the magazine and calculator. Okay, very shallow depth of field you've done here. Uh, you haven't said what you've done. Um, but yeah, that looks nice. Um, oh, please, my off-camera flashing it, so you use the... Uh, Flash over there, yeah, it looks uh, very nice and shallow. Uh, the magazine and calculator, uh, not really much else I can say about that, but you've just done a very shallow. It would be good if there was something like an equal sign, or if there was, if it was part of a magazine where it was something like the Financial Times, and it was talking about how stock markets are crashing, crashing, crashing. Maybe it had numbers on the calculator where it was uh, saying, oh, minus 10,000, that was your money that you lost, or something like that. Because uh, there is just, that's just a shot. Um, it, it's not a story. So m maybe think about that. Maybe try and work in the idea of the magazine and the calculator together. The angel from wedding. Angel? Angle. Angel. Uh, whatever. Um... Very nice, close up, white balance, is probably a touch on the warm side there, unless these flowers were orange. Uh, oh no, it look, looks like they could be, it could be a very pale one. Uh, doo -doo -doo, actual wedding, uh, yeah, we've got a nice bouquet, uh, bouquet uh, going on. Um, let's see if we've got... Um, I would say the composition needs to be tightened up a little bit, uh, it's kind of bottom left and looks a little bit underexposed for the flower which you're trying to bring the attention to. So the kind of most exposed ones are the ones at the background where they're kind of almost blown out with the, the bits there. And they've got a random flower there and a little bit sticking out there. So watch out again, just watch out for your background stuff and make, if it's a flower like this, you want it to kind of you know glow with light. Sometimes sticking it into Photoshop or GIMP and adding a, a secondary layer and adding a, a blend mode of Blend mode, blend mode of uh, addition? No. Get, get, I'll show you. Okay, so here's my example. Here's some flowers um, at a recent wedding. Let's see if we can make them just a touch bigger for you. Okay, what to do is, uh, a good little thing is make a duplicate layer and then you've got these layer modes here and there's a whole bunch of them, like multiply will just make it kind of uh, that um, and I would say a good one to do is soft light. Now initially it'll kind of go oh right okay the contrast has kind of gone a bit crazy and you can see the difference from that was it before and that's it after but that's always too strong so I would say bring that down to around about 30% there and I'd say now that from there to there we're talking about tiny differences uh, might be quite good. Let's see, is there any other good ones that might be an overlay? That won't do anything. Uh, screen, that'll make it lighter. So yeah, that, that, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can play around with there which will have slightly different effects on your images and sometimes you might want it so it's kind of a little bit more glowy at the top than at the bottom and if you want to do that, so for example, if I go for uh, hard light that will give me a strong contrast going on here and up at the top here that's really bright but what I can do is I can just quickly do a layer mask uh, do that and then on this add a, a gradient of black and white you've got to make sure that your colors are black and white that's fine 
and then down there we can do it so that the top bit is less blown out going on there. Uh, if we do it at the bottom uh, up the way, then the top will still stay bright and the bottom will come back to what it was before on the image below. Um, so I would probably actually probably want to do it from about there and then mm, maybe not as strong as that. But yeah, I'd say that that's kind of a way to kind of control the difference in your things there with a bit of uh, stuff. Oh god, anyway, back onto the critique. Okay, here's our next shot uh, called Life of Yosemite. Yo Yosemite. Yosemite. Yosemite, that's how you call it. I take this picture at Yosemite uh, after six months of having my camera. Uh, lovely colours, lovely saturation. You maybe have upped the blues just a touch too much there. I like the colour of the sky and the trees, the details of the mountains. I like it. Uh, happy smiley face. Yeah, I like it as well. Is there an angle to it? No, it seems to be pretty much spot on. Um, I think, though, you could do more with that. Um, if you'd had a circular polarizer and get rid of the reflections of the water here, that might have helped and just kept the kind of saturation in the colors there. Um, uh, but yeah, no, a uh, good location. Oh, I really want to go there. I wonder how difficult it is to get there from Scotland. Uh, last, shit, the, uh, last shot, the mad skills. Uh, mid shot. Oh, yeah, the sticking the tongue out. Uh, friend playing soccer against another high school. I like it because I think it really shows the action of the game. Doesn't it? It kind of looks like he's just doing some keepy-uppies. Um, okay, you could... I don't think it does. I think it just shows a guy kind of not kicking a ball. He just kind of looks like he's got a broken ankle. He actually looks like he's broken his ankle there. And then there's just people at the side kind of going, Ooh, you've broken your ankle. So uh, I don't think that really has shown me the action of the game. That could have been... When I first saw that, I thought it was just him kicking the ball around, not necessarily having a game there. So uh, I really want to involve other people. Get maybe get some motion blur as well. Like if if he's running and kicking the ball, get some blur going in into the image. That would uh, always be quite cool. Uh, and you've got your uh, account detail here as well. Brilliant. Okay, thanks. Uh, what's your name? Ian Lee. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye bye.